Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing uh, the journey into the 41st Dark Grim Millennia Legendary Playthrough Blind with uh, Grandmaster Mode enabled and we got Zarfer as our next station. We need to win without passive war gear. That means less willpower for shenanigans. I think we're still going to be fine. Uh, Jim is back from his uh, small mission. And I am thinking about uh, Jim as much as I like that staff of yours. Um, it's a good staff. But maybe the Blade of Infernus is better. Or alternatively, this beautiful, beautiful. Uh, mm, Hellbird. I think we're going to take the Hellbird from Dan and uh, therefore we're double Hellberting. So, oh wait, that's even one. Uh, forgot about the fact that the staff also provides plus one willpower and we can even upgrade it for more willpower. That's actually quite good. I will not upgrade, we can now upgrade weapons, but I will not upgrade uh, the armor of weapons until they are really, really good, like level 3-ish. Uh, because elsewise I think it's just a throwaway. We might as well uh, get better equipment soon. Status. Ultramarines currently engaged with a force of word bearers below. Have they detected us? Negative. Do you take me for some half augmented engine seer? The Inquisitor meant no insult, Dominus. We will locate and destroy the seeds and leave the rest alive. Which is good. We shall never be seen. And chaos shall not be spoken uh, about either. Okay, lots and lots and lots of carriers. What is your will? Which drive? Sabers. Moving. And we're moving yours. quite far. On the way. I wonder, do we want to engage immediately? No, I think we're okay just taking point. What is your will? Your command, at once. Very well At here. They come. Today we shall be tested. Join position. Seeking better cover. Interesting. Engage, Commander. What's that new gu uh, guy doing? Is uh, that a? Champion. Okay, so that's one of their chapter, not chapter leaders, but basically that squad of three. He's the uh, one calling the shots. Can destroy into your orders, target a blast. Uh, all enemies gain hardened. Sword order, uh, target a blast over area six. Enemies gain melee damage and movement speed. Kill order. Everybody's vulnerable, and he's rocking a nice little plasma pistol and a power fist. Good choice, my brother. 
here. Before we do anything, let's get that seat. Another foul seed claim. Where's the lacrity? Just out of curiosity, no, it wouldn't work, but can we hit this? And yeah, it would push the guy back. Cool. And we can also hit this. Even better. Pushes him back as well. Fantastic. Unleash me. Good, you're free to engage this school. Very good. Standing ready. This could be a chain Standing reaction now. where he is pushed back. But unfortunately that does not trigger an attack of opportunity. I was hoping it would, but it did not. guy back there has what kind of weapon? Melter gun range 7. Okay. Well, that's really not that impressive. Standing ready. Moving in. Hitting their champion. Your orders? So far we have not even used anything. Wounds inflicted. Target acquired. What is your will? Down. Show to the unworthy. And listen, we don't even really need to kill him. We're just waiting until this guy comes back. And zero will points spent. Instead, two nice little attacks of opportunity. Hits his own guy with a grenade what a what a boss what is your will it will be done Good. Uh, there's not really an edge here that we can use. Might as well destroy the cover. Perfect. Just moved him even further back. If you still breathe, fight! My blade is yours. Seek it. One and two. You will rise again. Your command. I haven't considered that grenade. That was a bit surprising, to be fair. My wrath is my wound is yours. Gliding through the world. 
Could we'll kill him in a second. Let's advance in the meantime because I want to already get to the next pack. I am here to serve. I am here to serve. How about you? They will rot no more. get all the way to there so yeah. it's going to be a long journey this should not trigger anything This hopefully triggers. Good, it does. Praise the plague lord. Because now turn the turn has expired. And we're in a good position. Threat identified. Your orders. Your orders? I am his will. Very nice hit. A very nice hit. Excellent, to be precise. I have seen your weakness. Nah. Nah. I didn't want. I actually didn't want to give it him. He doesn't have a very good ranged attack. He has a couple of psychic abilities instead. But it's okay. Not the end of the world. Opening fire! Embrace it! Make him pay! Yes, Commander. Palamedes! Support fire. So just in case we need it, <clears throat> we got enough Haler Skulls, one for every single pack. Barely out of range. Your orders? All right, I suppose we'll point waste it. <clears throat> I am the Emperor's vengeance. Unleash me. One. They too will suffer. Two. Three. Holy plague will heal you. Four. Five. Foe destroyed, Commander. Hold my word. Suffer. 
Good, zero resistance. Not great, but there are Standing way ready. worse afflictions than that. moved earlier I forgot that there will be double support fire but it's fine <clears throat> we have no buffs running so might as well just use that time in order to move up trigger which means you can still move a little bit further forward Get this one. Good, next up. We're moving our Halo scope in position. Fantastic. Easy fight. Standing ready. Advancing. Focus fire. And all of that are becoming vulnerable. You know, now we don't even need it. 
I was thinking about if we want to use a 50% crit chance. The answer is no, because we're doing just so fine. Given that these guys are all taunted, I'm not going to waste my precious willpower onto anything else. Trigger two uh, attacks of opportunity. One, two. Let's get that seed. This is coming with me. Okay, we'll probably what could use a bit over Save here. Firing on target. One. Two. Good crit. Good. Nice right. the unloading. I strike true. We the foe bleeds. My blade is yours. Oh. One. Two. Yes, Commander. I am his. Where's that last seat down there? Okay, cool. Yeah. There we go. Still the same turn. Getting another seat. Should be good. What's this? The Emperor's dogs? They won't know what he Indeed, the Emperor's dogs are here. That sucks. How and why would that be okay? Yes, Commander. <sighs> you know that. That's kind of the worst thing that could have happened. Unleash me. Palamedes, I am here to serve. Your orders? Good. 
Good. Unfortunately, the boss uh, resisted. Sucks a bit. At your service. Blinded. Armor break three. I think we're going with the armor break. What a big, fat, juicy guy. Speaking about which, strength of the spirit. And whilst we're at it, give me the seeds, even though it triggers the warp, the warp gates, the reinforcements. Another foul seed claim. Too good to not do that. New command. Sabers. Standing ready. Your command. Unleash me. Let's remove his melee weapons. Alright, or not. What is your will? In which case, let's just make sure that we can get out without triggering attacks of opportunity I am here to serve ranged weapon goes No match for the Empress Chosen. Cure the afflictions. Gratitude. Scramming ready. I don't know if that little sign on top of the head of Chris Marine means that he's a afflicted. That's all the seeds accounted for, Commander. But there are warp disturbances emerging nearby. We will begin teleport extraction immediately. Seat from this rot. Nurgle means business. We are the hammer. Yes, Commander. Let's move over here. And whoever comes through this gate will regret it. Good. Melee 
com uh, combatants that far over in the battlefield are doing absolutely nothing. On this side, however, they do something. So you've got to be a bit wary. Short range guns. And they are slow on top of it. Which is fine. A few more Standing mutations. Ready. Interesting. All right, listen. Moving We're moving to here. We are plagued. We need to re Armed reload ready. because we completely went all out last turn. We're moving that plagued. My wrath is restored, brother. Lord us. What is your will? Very good. Unleash me. Unleash me. Hmm. Yeah, since we don't have any healing yeah. left, we'll keep the old fashioned healing going. Extra crispy damage. Okay, that works out so well. Unleash me. Strike So let's continue to hit wherever possible. We would need to reload, okay, fair enough. Um sure, we can be the front line on this side. Gaining a few will points so that we can heal if needed. One. Two. Could have used the Halo School. <sighs> Stupid. Unnecessary to even take damage. Okay, one more turn. One.
Very nice. Move up. And kill us. Fantastic. Which brings us to no more skulls. Um, but we do have some medical support. My wrath is restored. I am here to serve. Okay. At your service. Taking position. We're completely moving out of car, uh, out of line of sight. Your orders. More armor. And see you later. <laughs> That's not in range, my dude. Good. Let's get out of here. All we needed to do is survive. And so survive we did. Good. We're getting a hang for the type of missions. And we're trying to not drag them out even further. Got ourselves quite a, f a few seats. Seven requisition. Oh, and three promotions. So, Jim here. I don't think that the crushing charge to make it even more yeah, the, the Hobbit is nice, but not that nice, right? I think since we have two more levels to go, might as well go on to Provoke. This Rapid Reload, on the other hand, is also nice. More crit damage, so... The passive here is not so good, because uh, we already found out that there's only ruthless precision that would benefit from it. So provoke isn't bad, but it also costs willpower. And the one thing that I noticed is we're mostly spending willpower for honor of the chapter so if he had some sort of a better movement ability that would be not too i would i would say crushing charge if i was to implement it i would make it one will point uh, so that it is an equivalent for the um for the teleportation and then instead uh, do the hobbled upgrade and make plus one uh, will point and plus one stun right so that if you go here you end up with the exact same thing but you do have the option to to charge for one will point and then that would be fine because Jim majorly suffers from not being able to use uh, his positioning correctly he already spends one uh, action to hand over uh, ability points and then oftentimes just using his blaster in order to give him uh, stuff back. Provoke seems nice. Provoke seems nice but 
not sure if it is really help uh, that helpful on the other hand if we were to go to here and here there's willpower there's more willpower This uh, thing is an AoE attack, but it also costs two willpower. Well, this here is sort of okay, the rapid reload. Just solving his AP problem a bit, because he's oftentimes forced to reload at some point. So I could see this here into rapid reload being a thing yeah it's a difficult choice because nothing is really that appealing uh, to me giving him more ranged crit certainly is nice and the extra crit damage I suppose would be fine I mean Jim uh, is mostly using his staff and I foresee if we had better staffs just extrapolating if we had a staff that had a higher chance to get him Aegis, um, I would order, let him auto uh, Aegis uh, with a staff and then it's really just he pushes over uh, willpower um, this here from time to time which also costs willpower so that's his willpower spent but where is he getting it back and he therefore needs kills and I think this is not too bad I was maybe too blinded by the Psy Cannon, which I don't want to equip. I want the staffs because uh, staves give willpower and he needs plenty of willpower. And staves also give uh, a chance for for um, Aegis and that is his whole shtick. But if we could get this here, then there is even a chance uh, for reload, right? And then the last, uh, the last um, level would be basically rapid reload as a given, and then either this here. But I seldomly see that three more armor would be making a huge difference. This is okay, but it's really not doing that much either. We already got the good notes here. Rapid reload. Might as well take hobbled. Maybe. I guess it's not too bad. You can you can do it in order to rush back um, melee characters and then they are uh, melee enemies and then they are hobbled and really can't reach your backline so for that I think it's fine maybe that is the build good we're going deeper into uh, support fire which now would be dealing five points of damage let's see if that is a valid build and our future Zoe is doing that plus one auto well that would be extra support fire or an a special grenade slot I think the grenade slot is more valuable Uh, it's a bit of a shame before we do that because it's our last level it's a bit of a shame that we ended up not being able to take more um, the return fire I'm sort of content with it because very seldomly are we getting a uh, shot with uh, Zoe it's just not happening that often the warp charge here yeah I don't need that either. Extra willpower certainly would have been cool. Uh, 
but she does have 10, so that's okay. Good enough for a mission. Or he does have 10. There are no female Grey Knights. Um, and yeah, these two plus that, if we had three more points, I think that would um, give us a good build. But I'm not too upset about uh, this here. It's a good build. I, it works very, very well. I could do a second support fire instead, but I think the gren extra grenade slot is super good. And if we had one more level, if I was to rebuild it, I maybe would take out the Emperor's Light and instead go here. And That's that, because the Emperor's Light really doesn't do much. But I think, I think what we could do, Zabaz. if I'm not mistaken, there's a retrain option, which would cost us like what? It's focusing reallocate uh, all of uh, the ability points to requisition in 30 days. Uh, that might be worth. Uh, that actually might be worth it. Um, I like Empress Light. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's really good ability, but in terms of <clears throat> in terms of just doing what we're doing, we could <clears throat> build a bit more effective. So we could go into here range crit is definitely good into extra ammo the range is fine we anyways need to take it this is absolutely good this is absolutely good and the support fire isn't bad either uh, it is not as good as the other support fire but it's two damage here and there so that's cool i uh, do like uh, that um, I do like that. So then, this here is absolutely fantastic. Astral Aim, up with one of the best abilities. I really like it. Um, I mean, when we're reskilling, the question is, do we stick with these guns or do we take closer guns, the, um, the Psy Cannons? Because uh, that could be good as well, uh, that Psychic Onslaught here. Um, gives us it's it's a little bit less range it's a little bit less range I think 10 instead of 17 or 15 the, uh, the high range is good because um, it saved us but down here there's a reload option Anyways, the Psychic Onslaught isn't, uh, isn't a bad choice either. So we, the point that I'm trying to make is we would get either of these weapons. Then we would definitely get Astral Aim. Because uh, choosing crits against targets, very, very good. Um, then 50% chance of getting an AP that would actually be good with that auto ability now that I think about it oh that is good that is very very good uh, this here is the better ability the mental focus is a fantastic ability so anyways we would get this and I would go to here and here scratch these three points take double grenade and uh, and that we would end up with a with uh, two less will points, and we lose Emperor's Light as an ability, but we would gain instead uh, two times the ability to crit and uh, take an action point, and that is good, specifically if you're critting often, and we would gain three grenades, just for free, and. Maybe the higher level grenades are good, but the, the level one uh, ones are already not too bad, if I may say so. So we're going to do exactly that.
Cool. So that would be number one. That would be number two. And now it's either this with the extra crit damage, and I like high crit damage. This is not bad either. So it's either that or same ammunition and we do have proper reload. I think I'll stick with uh, this setup. That sounds good to me. Points are spent. If I was to spend more points, I think what I would do is get this willpower. Because yeah, there's no such thing as too much willpower and then potentially get uh, greater explosion radius the question is do we want a greater explosion radius or do we want uh, that partial damage ignoring hmm hmm i think i'll stick with the gun this here means our primary weapon always deals full damage uh, except when it is full uh, full cover so that is great again if there would be additional points i would potentially take that and more willpower and that or one more ammo cool so you sound available on a mission for 30 days but that is cool uh, two points well spent and Zabaz. i think they also took their loadout with them hmm, that's a bit unfortunate but we will we will manage Mission unreachable in time, I figured. Good, back to the center of the galaxy. Or rather back uh, to the center of this solar system. The entire thing is a galaxy and we're just fighting for a sector. It has come to my attention that your previous campaign stripped the Edict of its most venerable knights. It seems this bloom will not be purged quickly, so I shall do what I can to remedy the deficit from now on. That said, I must balance your desires against the needs of other campaigns, so tell me, what skills would best help your cause? Purifier, Paladin, Librarian, Chaplain? Hmm? Are those new classes? Are those hero classes? Purifier sounds sick. Sounds like someone who's using flamers. Paladin. Hmm. Chaplain could be a leader. Hmm. Or, or someone who can deal great mental damage. Maybe nuke. I think we're going for a librarian. I'm more the caster type, so... Alright. Uh, yeah, sure. We need to get rid of one of our beloved, uh, beloved uh, 
knights, so how about Grell? Uh, is, and we're kind of framing it as Grell develops into a librarian. Oh. Lovely. All right. Most psychically adept. Yes, we will have a use for him. Uh, well, that is a bit much to take in. So first of all, Grell has now developed into Grelgar. Okay, what kind of... What would a librarian wear? Nothing with a sword. Well, that's a cool one, but still not. This is, this is it, a librarian. Um, I like it. I like the whole outfit, that's super good. Um, wow, that looks dope. Malleus. Okay, so what can a librarian do? Plus two willpower starting from rank one. And can only equip Terminator armor. This knight cannot permanently die. He will not use... What? What am I witnessing? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me double check what this guy can do and we're going to find out whether Grell is going to be the best thing uh, since the invention of sliced bread or if we do have a problem. Holy shit. Where to start with this monster of a machine? Wow, I'm not sure if I'm just witnessing the best class in the game so far. This guy is packed. I, I'm not even kidding. Okay, so listen. For starters, uh, this guy is wearing Terminator armor, so baseline, uh, which means no skill point needed for that. Instead, lots of uh, willpower. And boy, boy, this character will need a lot of willpower to uh, function. So 25%, uh, mm, this guy gets 25% uh, focus, uh, which means uh, that is increased chance for autos, which generally means you want more of uh, those focus skulls. You have one over here, uh, for instance, so that you already have a 50% uh, chance to trigger uh, autos, plus 50% chance, that is. So, left tree, uh, he has the same uh, Aegis type uh, tree that the Justicar is having, just in cooler, because uh, his warp uh, charge uh, is uh, not uh, just uh, giving one armor, but two armor. So. The guy starts with two armor uh, from Aegis Shield, and if you upgrade it, uh, you do have uh, four armor on top of it. Uh, this and this. Uh, so we're already looking at six armor that he can then single handedly just give over. Uh, up here, you do have kind of a side bolter focus where there is return fire. Um, once per turn just shoot back mind you if you have so much armor that actually is a nice little combination i wish the justicar had that and on top of it the um, cybolters get huge crit bonus so we're looking at uh, plus three crit uh, damage um, and you can upgrade it to bypass armor which i don't need to tell you just how good that is uh, once specifically on the enemy uh, turn uh, if they shoot you and they got their armor back and you just like kill them. So that in itself is already dope uh, as a uh, concept. Down here it gets better where you basically have a sanctuary. You can set an area and within that uh, area all, uh, mm, uh, all of uh, the knights will gain three armor. You can upgrade that to five armor including himself and as an auto uh, at the end of the uh, uh, the turn, he does have the staff ability, but just included. 
so that is cool because you can theoretically use uh, something else but wait for it like if you now think this is a tank mm -mm -mm. Uh, it gets better than that uh, up here he has a very unique tree which is called empyrean domination uh, where he can reduce the warp surge uh, quite practically and in the center of it 25% uh, uh, focus to trigger these abilities. I found that interesting, not necessarily the one that I would have skilled immediately, but I can see that uh, this is helpful in high warp uh, situations. Now we're coming to the second best uh, part on the right hand side and then the tip top part on the bottom side as far as I see. So right hand side, right? We're seeing smite. Now smite is an ability and I need to read that twice. I thought, you know what? Uh, you, you're effectively spending a willpower and therefore bypassing ar um, armor um, and just dealing uh, dealing damage. But no, 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 no. It's actually better than uh, than that. You're not spending any will uh, will um, power unless you want the armor uh, piercing. Uh, so you're just using your AP. This thing deals three points of damage. You can upgrade it to four points of damage and to unlimited range which means you always will deal four points of damage um, with a smite. And I think that is really, really, really good. Unlimited range, you can hit from anywhere. You can basically finish off uh, stuff just as if uh, you would be standing there. That warp charge, of course, is um, a nice little addition. On top here, you got kind of AOE um, uh, damage. Uh, so six damage and you can upgrade it to eight damage uh, over an area of three that's relatively small but still it's aoe damage eight aoe damage for two will points that's not bad at all um, passive here uh, extra will points which i think you will uh, need quite uh, quite a bit and then you do have a uh, chance to even disable ranged weapons for mechanical targets uh, if you want to upgrade it further not bad i'm uh, this in itself is, it's excellent what am i saying it's not not bad it is excellent because there is uh, no cover you just deal damage that's like a psionic vo uh, vortex down here you do have another interesting uh, one which is uh, a stun ability target an area and you're dealing two stun you can then upgrade it to three stun uh, down here uh, you can also activate it for one extra will point uh, for five instead of uh, three stun and i think for uh, for one action point um, even if it costs three will points it seems very very good because you can um, uh, prepare a target and five stun is nothing to uh, to uh, to scoff at because you can essentially prepare a target so that someone else can execute it right afterwards um, and that'll then uh, give everybody action points back so this seems super interesting but that here, uh, that is just priceless. Uh, there is a 25% chance, mind you, if you're going up into the focus, uh, there is a higher chance even. So there is a 25% uh, chance uh, Then, whenever you're using a warp charge ability, I assume this here also uh, creates warp charge and any spell uh, creates warp, even Aegis does. Um, so. Uh, whenever you're using that there is a chance that you gain one will point back so per definition this guy will just gobble up will points over time super 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 strong ability um, the only thing that i'm missing on history is an ability where it can trigger multiple times around so the master of uh one's uh one once per round uh, abilities, but I think a couple of the armors allowed, um, I've, I've seen one armor um, when we were cycling through that allowed uh, autos to trigger a second uh, time. So that would be cool if, uh, because all of a sudden you could get up to two spell points back. Good, now hold your horses because here's uh, the uh, 500 pound gorilla in the room, gate uh, to infinity. So that guy can teleport and I was like, wow, nice, cool. I like teleportation, uh, upgraded range, sign me up, fantastic. 
Uh, but you can spend three more will points, which makes it five will points. Granted, it's an expensive little thing, but you can teleport all of your knights. Let that sink in for a second. All of your knights to the same location. Holy moly, is that good? That will sell. So this is as good. This skill is so good that it replicates the stratagem, but makes it even better. Let that sink in. Like it makes it even better. So I am considering, uh, and and then uh, the auto here is when a knight uses a teleport ability, they they also gain a P back fifty percent uh, chance. So that in itself is is an absolute no brainer. This plus activating all of that, um, and then higher range, Mwah. chef kiss. Uh, that'll be our next uh, levels. The question is, what are we going to do afterwards? So this here is a given and that will cost a lot of will points, which means I need a way of getting will points back. So I'm thinking afterwards, this here is okay uh, enough for now. Afterwards, we um, might be going into this and this. Um, so that uh, we're going down to here and then uh, just take price of power for now this thing is by itself yeah i'm not sure if without the upgrades if i would uh, uh, do it but with the upgrades it certainly is good with the upgrades it certainly is good um and the unlimited range is also nice. The question then is, like, if we're if we're down here, we can do that, and then then the question uh, becomes, what do we want to do afterwards? I think that that return fire isn't too bad. I also like the idea of sanctuary, but you can't spread your will points too thin. Um, that will not uh, work that will not work uh, so what I'm wondering is this uh, passive here is also good because it will allow this here to trigger more often and this here to trigger more often um, but that here seems to me like something I would skill relatively late uh, just to get that extra focus. I want to see how it performs without it. Um, this here would be AOE damage, but very costly, so three will points. And we are already into stun. And I do have the apothecary spec into stun as well. So it's potentially down here into this because that gives us AP back. This seems nice, specifically the unlimited range is always something that is good to have. Um, I would potentially go for this and the fortress because then for one AP, you can essentially emulate uh, uh, this here. You can emulate this here. And I would then maybe skill into this up here because Here's the thing. Oh, the Psy Bulls. It's not just a normal attack. Psy Bulls uh, gain crit damage. Uh, I see. I see. Well, maybe then this here is good. Anyways, it's going to be that as the spender this year in order to get it back. Potentially upgrading this so that we do have unlimited range for damage. That is dope. And then maybe we're going to get up here. And upgrade both of that and the fortress. Because that in itself is a great option. Yeah, well, Grell, uh, you traded nicely, shall I say. You traded nicely. I am wondering what uh, um, kind of armor we are giving you.
This is extra willpower. I think that's helpful. And then we want a good uh, bolter. Fantastic. And what kind of melee weapon are we going to use? I mean, the obvious one is a warding staff because that'll give you that'll give you extra willpower. And the Aegis shield. Hmm. I wonder if uh, this guy replaces the Justicar. Maybe. But Jim only has one more level to go, so we're definitely going to stay with uh, Jim for, for a bit more. And currently our Pugeter, um has left, uh, Zoe that is. So without them, I mean, we could go for a demon hammer. Which I think some of them do have a knockback. Yeah, we could go for four sword. I tell you what, we're going to equip this. And as a war gear, it's quite clear. Extra willpower it is. Do we even have a lot of abilities that require willpower at the moment? We have zero. All right, in which case, take extra hit points and we're taking a better melee weapon. There you go. Santo. Need a weapon, you take that staff again. Okay, cool. Wow, what a great development. Now I of course wonder what the other um, classes would have done. Reconstruction has proceeded more rapidly than anticipated. Forgive my miscalculation, Commander. I will perform the requisite penance to the All Messiah. Okay, let's follow our plan. We wanted more prognosticars. That's the next prognosticar. We wanted that as well. Might as well be able to reduce uh, the bloom right there. We can put a prognosticar in here afterwards. Put one here. Then put one up there and up there. And that would look pretty good. Fabulous. Less upgrade costs for seats.
cost uh, you have uh, what does that do cost minus one Okay, well, this here will give us a better return for our seats, so... Might as well research um, all of uh, them. As we're currently uh, collecting seats anyways, that's a good uh, way, because uh, that research is cheap, seats-wise. Yeah, we, that's not a question. We need to go here. Can't let that planet fall. And there's 14 days left there. And how many days here? 15. Again, we can't risk anything. Oh, we got even more. Not great. What are we getting here? Requisition plus one. Kill five enemies with grenades. Okay. Seek and destroy the bloom spawn. And we're looking at what? Corruption level great. Necrosis. Hellbrood. Yeah, okay, we that's a little bit we know what kind of enemies there are. Bloom level four. Can we reach anything that we can reach in time? Oh, we can reach that in time. So good, we're going to do it. Two Grimoires are on the line. And here we get Requisition. And up here we could get Servitors, which aren't bad either. But to fly here, we would go through the Warp Storm and Nope, that's not happening. Okay, there's a lot of requisition on the line if we're going in here. Nice. Grell just looks dope. I like it. We need uh, grenades. Plenty thereof. And since we need to kill five enemies with grenades, I think that our extraction will be a little bit lower, but again, you can't have you can't have it all. Would love to see upgraded frag grenades. I think they can be quite good. Good. Well, we're not having that much luck. Uh, we have only three shots and need to kill five enemies, so that in itself... Mm. And we don't have great AoE damage because our Putator isn't here. Hmm. Good, got five damage uh, bolter. Got a five damage bolter there as well. And we could upgrade that bad boy for three seeds. Since it is his main damage uh, gun, might as well do that. I will keep the upgrades limited.
I think that's his bolter, right? Um, and that would allow us to effectively shoot five times. That's a good bolter for return fire. Uh, support fire, sorry. Okay, we got all of the stuff that we need, uh, but the actual mission will happen next time. I wonder, hmm, I mean, Gate of Infinity is good. Uh, we are not using, uh, we're not having the teleportation yet, but the librarian should be able to rank up rather fast. So if we protect them, which we will, uh, that should be good. And if we ace this mission, we're at nine requisition, which is great. We're going to get even more requisition and the Grandmaster's report in uh, 13 days should be good, should be a good uh, report up here. Oh, that's a tough one. I don't know if we can win a mission without willpower, but we could get uh, just one requisition, make it much easier for us. I think that's better. Uh, that prevents us from, from uh, taking too much damage. Okay, the pass is clear. We just need to execute well. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I uh, truly appreciate it. If you enjoy the run, uh, then... And if you enjoy the uh, uh, librarian class, then make sure that you warp yourself over to that uh, like button and smash it like uh, there is no tomorrow. Thanks and have a good one.